For this problem, we need to find the second solution, y2. We'll first need to get it into the standard form of y double prime plus p of x times y prime plus q of x times y is equal to 0. To do this, I'll divide all the terms by 9. We'll get y double prime minus 12 over 9 y prime plus 4 over 9 y is equal to 0. So our p of x is going to be negative 12 over 9 which is negative 4 over 3. We can now use the reduction of order formula. y2 will be equal to y1 times the integral of e to the power of the negative integral of p of x dx over y1 squared. y1 is e to the 2x over 3. So I'll substitute that into the equation. y2 will be equal to e to the 2x over 3 times the integral of e to the negative integral of negative 4 thirds dx. That will be over e to the 2x over 3 squared. The numerator will be e to the power of the integral of 4 thirds dx, which is equal to e to the 4 thirds x. For the denominator, it will be e to the 4x over 3. So y2 will be equal to e to the 2x over 3 times the integral of e to the 4x over 3 over e to the 4x over 3 dx. The e terms will cancel. So y2 will be equal to e to the 2x over 3 times the integral of dx. So y2 is going to be equal to e to the 2x over 3 times x. I'll put the x out in front. So y2 will be equal to x e to the 2x over 3. And that is our final answer. If this video helped you, consider subscribing.